Hello, this is Dr. Ryan Academic Channel and I'm Dr. Ryan. In this video, I'm going to preoperative measures to prevent surgical site infection. So let's, let's jump straight in. Several strategies have been employed to reduce the incidence of surgical site infection. In this video, we will outline these measures in the preoperative period. Firstly, preoperative showering a day before or on the day of surgery. It is recommended good practice. Secondly, staphylococcus aureus is associated with an increased risk of surgical site infection. And NICE recommends that decolonization with mebracine should depend on the type of surgery and the patient's MRSA status. Previously, hair removal was a common practice in obstetrics and gynecology. And the WHO recommends that if it is absolutely necessary, hair removal should be carried out using clippers, but shaving should be strongly discouraged. Regarding the mechanical bowel preparation, there is no evidence support the routine use of it to reduce the incidence of surgical site infection. However, Nail polish, jewelry, and artificial nail should be removed. It is recommended that the patients wear clothing that is comfortable and provide adequate exposure to the site of surgery. Also, staff who are not actively engaged in the surgery should also wear non-sterile scrub. And if we talk about the rule of antimicrobial prophylaxis, antibiotics are central to the prevention of surgical site infection post caesarean. And the rate of surgical site infection post caesarean is about 68 per 1000 with the use of antibiotics. And it is about 97 per 1000 without the use of antibiotics. The appropriate antibiotic to reduce the rate of surgical site infection is intravenous cefazoline. With regards to the timing, studies show that intravenous antibiotics should be administered within 60 minutes of caesarean section. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, left a comment and subscribe to the channel.